Hey y'all and welcome back. Glad you could join us tonight for supper, for dinner here, supper here in South Carolina. We're having a simple sesame teriyaki chicken and broccoli on the Blackstone. Very simple, very quick cook. Now I feel like there's gonna be some new Blackstone owners, new griddle owners here in the near future if there's not some already out there now that's looking for super simple recipes. Well, this is one of them super simple recipes, but a so full of flavor. It's almost crazy how full of flavor it is with just so few ingredients. Very simple to put together, very, very easy. Now I went ahead and got the griddle started up. I put it on a, like almost, almost low. Low on this griddle is about 350. So adjust your griddle accordingly. So while that's heating up, let's go ahead and get them groceries ready. Yep, this is all it's gonna take. Of course, I'm using some chicken breast. Generally I use thighs, but breast is fine for this recipe. Uh, we have a yellow onion right there. I have some broccoli crowns, as you see. We're gonna cut these up. Uh, back here in the back, I got some olive oil that I'm gonna to use to cook this chicken in. Of course, there's our sesame seeds. I'm gonna season that chicken with some sweet teriyaki, and of course, we're gonna hit it with all that flavor of that kinkum in teriyaki. Y'all, that is all it's gonna take. All right, that griddle is still heating up, so let's go ahead and get our broccoli and our chicken and all that good stuff ready for the griddle. Now, of course, I got two crowns of broccoli here. I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna need, but I got enough just in case. If you like a lot of broccoli, hey, use a lot of broccoli. Let's go ahead and get these crowns cut off here. Now here's the thing about the crowns. If you want big chunks, fine. Cut them up like you like them. You know how you like them. Cut them up like that. I think that'll work for us right there. Of course, a lot of us, I mean, they're good to cook down to smaller pieces. And yes, that's a lot of broccoli. Still, like I said, not sure if I'll use it all. All right, it's time to do the onion now. And as far as the onion goes, you cut it up like you want it. Uh, and use as much onion as you want. If you want a lot more onion than this, if you like a lot of onion flavor in your, your Asian dishes, hey, by all means, do that. But I think that'll be plenty right there. So we're gonna just kind of break them up. And we'll just set them aside and use them here in just a minute. All right, on to the chicken. Now, if you wanna take the chicken and cut it down and make thinner pieces of this breast, that is fine. Or you can just take it and cut it like this into bite-sized pieces. Yeah, just kind of just and just kind of come in here and just kind of cut it up. However, you want to do your chicken, you do your chicken. We prefer kind of thick, bite-sized pieces, and so that's the way we're going to do this. All right, we pretty much got it cut up like we want it. Like I said, if you want. Smaller pieces, however you want it. This will cook down and size some. If it's too big for you, you can just come in here and just cut the pieces up that are real big still. It's not a big deal. So anyhow, you cut the chicken up like you want it. But before we get the chicken on the griddle, we gotta season that stuff. Let's come in here and hit it with that sweet teriyaki. Oh yeah. It's gonna make it good right here, y'all. Yes, sir, buddy. I know we're going to use that teriyaki sauce later on. But man, some seasoning does not never hurt anything. So you can make sure each piece is good and covered. Kind of like that there. Let's get on the griddle. Man, this griddle is hot. I mean, it's almost on low and you see how much it's smoking. So I'm going to throw down a little olive oil right here. We're going to get this broccoli and onion going. So let's throw some down over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw all the broccoli on. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that onion in with it. And yes, I'm gonna hit it with some seasoning too. Kinda like that there. And just come in here and give it a good mix. I'm gonna kind of spread this out for right now. 
and just kind of let it cook. And honestly, I think I'm going to turn these two far burners all the way down to low. So now, let's throw down some more olive oil and get that chicken to go on. Yes, sir. Love that sizzle. Oh, and that smell of that sweet teriyaki. All right, that broccoli and onion now is starting to cook up and steam a little bit. This chicken's going down. Oh, but the smell coming off this griddle is just amazing right now. All right, we're gonna let that chicken kind of cook up a little bit and get a sear, but let's go ahead and stir this broccoli and onion up. We don't want it to burn too much on either side. We just want to get it tender. I think is what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pile it up now that we got everything warmed up good. Grab you a dome, cover it up, and just pour some water up under there. And that's gonna help steam everything up and cook them vegetables on down a little bit, make them tender. Chicken's looking good, y'all. It got sear starting to come along now. That's what I'm wanting. All right, let's pop the top on this broccoli and stuff and give it a stir. Might need to cover it back up, I don't know. We'll check it. Looking good. give it a good stir so what you don't want you see how that's starting to blacken up well let me get over here see it's starting to blacken up a little bit you don't want to burn it you just want to soften everything up kind of get a little char on it it's fine but you don't want it burnt stir that chicken up make sure it's got a good char on all sides pop the top check the broccoli again Oh yeah, looking good. Getting good and tender. It's getting there, it's getting there. Leave it uncovered for just a little bit now. And if you don't have a dome, that's perfectly fine. You can still spray water on it and kind of steam it up, just like this right here. Okay. Whatever you gotta do, help it along. You can see how that water's really steaming it up now, even without the dome. Really helps it cook on down, makes them tender. Now, I do like to keep my broccoli stirred up, broccoli and onion stirred up when I'm cooking something like this, because that broccoli will burn pretty quickly. As you see, it's getting a good char on some pieces, and that's fine. You just don't want to burn it. And as far as how tender the broccoli is, that is 100% up to you. If you like a little crunch left in your broccoli, by all means, cook it like that. If you want it nice and tender where there's no crunch at all, that's fine too. That's on you. All right, this broccoli is just about where I want it, and this chicken's got an amazing looking sear on it. I mean, look at that right there, y'all. That is looking good. So, I say, let's mix it all together. Let's make them one big happy family. Yes, sir, that is looking good, y'all. That is one beautiful mess up on this griddle top. Just look how good this is turning out right here. I mean, that looks really good already. It really does, but we are not done with this. All right, let's add some more flavor to this dish, shall we? Come in here and just add that sauce in. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I'm gonna use uh, a little more than half a bottle there. Just kind of mix it up. Wow, now that, oh, ho, 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 that smells good. Yes, sir, buddy. I honestly think I can use a little more sauce. There we go. Get it saucy. Make sure it's all mixed together. Get everything covered good. And let's kill the heat and take it up. Grab us a plate right here. Oh yeah. 
Man, if this tastes half as good as it smells, we in for a treat. Man, look at that, y'all. Look at that right there. Man, this is looking good. We got one more thing to do. We got to add them sesame seeds on here. Let's just come in here and just sprinkle them on here. Now, I like a lot of sesame seeds. Of course, you're going to mix it up in your dish, and that's fine. But let's just get them all on here, make it nice and pretty, like that right there. I mean, look at that right there, y'all. Oh, boy. Y'all, what y'all think about that? That came together quick, and I mean, there's just juice running off this plate everywhere. We got to try this out, y'all. Let me give me some uh, some chicken here, a piece of broccoli. If I can get it, hold on a second. Set it down. There we go. Got some chicken and broccoli now. Mm-hmm. That. Oh, yeah. That, y'all. I got another bite of that. That is amazing. Mmm. All right, y'all. I got it. I just got to put it down. That is amazing. The broccoli's got just a little bit of crunch left to it the way I like it. But tender overall. The chicken is done perfectly. That sweet teriyaki's coming through. Then you got the teriyaki seasoning mixed with them sesame seeds and that onion in there. So simple, but so full of flavor. It's unreal. And you see, I mean, look how much it made. It made a lot. So it don't take a lot of ingredients to make a really, really flavorful meal. Just a few simple ingredients on the Blackstone and you can have an amazing meal too. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it out. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Would love to know what you think. What would you add? Would you add mushrooms? Uh, bell peppers, you know, this is just a basic recipe. There are so many ways you can go with this. And I would love to know how you would take this recipe. Where would you go with it? What would you do different? So now I need to get this inside, take it to the family. You're getting kind of hungry and um, we'll see you next time.